Hi, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my favorite stock logic sounds and a few of my favorite stock logic plugins. I love using third party stuff as well, but why not take advantage of the plugins and the sounds that come with logic? Some of them are so good. So I just wanted to highlight some of the tools that you already have available to you for free. Let's jump right into it. So I'm working on this little song. And so far I haven't really added much stock logic stuff except for this enveloper, which I just learned about from someone on my live. And you can hear the difference very slightly with this shaker. So that's with it on and listen to it when it's off. So it's subtle, but all I did was add this a preset. I'm a preset girly, and I think with the mix, it sounds better. Check it out. And that's a stock logic plugin. Okay, let's talk about some stock logic sounds. So, one of my favorite stock logic synthesizers is Alchemy. This thing is awesome. And one thing I love about this is you can move this axis to change the sound. Wow. That's so different. Yeah, this one's my favorite. But like, listen. That could sound so cool. Let's see how I, if I add it to my track here. Pretty cool. Let me show you some other ones that I like in Alchemy. I love these sign bells, gentle sign bells. I love these. How pretty. Let's see if I can come up with something. A little trick I do when coming up with melodies is I just find like three to five notes that sound good in the key and then I just mess around with it, like check it out. Anyways, I love those bells. Another sound I really like is adding. Check it out. And like I said, you can sound design here using this axis pad. Gotta finesse some of the timings of these, but I feel like it sounds pretty cool. Like listen to them in combination with the bells. Let's make this just a hair shorter. So pretty. And those are stock logic sounds. I really like them. Another thing I really like using in logic are the soundscapes. And I use these to fill up the sonic spectrum. And it's something subtle in the background that I think thickens up the track. So we'll go here, soundscapes, and let's just find something. Wow.
Anyways, messing around with the soundscapes, there's a lot of really cool ones in there. Another Logic Pro synthesizer that I like a lot is called Sculptor. So you go over here, go to Instrument, type in Sculptor. And this one's another really cool one that you can add some sound design to because if you move this dial, you can make things sound more wood, nylon, glass. It's, it's really cool. And they have a bunch of presets that sound really nice. I like this bass a lot. So, for example, let's go to the chorus. And here's a quick Logic Pro trick. If I want to just select the bass notes, all I do is press Command A, Shift arrow key down, and then Shift I to invert, delete, and now it's just the bass notes. And now we have to lower this an octave. So we do Shift Option arrow key down, and I think we need to lower it one more octave. Shift Option arrow key down. There we go. And some of these are going to be too low, so we can go back up. That sounds too high, so now we go down here. Let's see if this one sounds good. And sometimes I like to layer that bass. And a little trick you can do is if you hold down Option, drag this down, it will duplicate the region and the track. And now I can go over here and I can layer it with this tight bass. So here's what it sounds tight bass on its own. And then with the sub bass layered, It just kind of sounds a little bit more full, and I like to tie those two together. So here's what it sounds like in the track. Okay, another thing I really like is, this is a plugin, it's called Beat Breaker. And this is really cool to change up rhythms of audios. So right now, without this, this is what this shaker sounds like. For this hi-hat topper and that's what I got straight out of splice so if I want to quickly flip that and make it my own I can throw on beat breaker Like mess around with it, even this. There's so much you can do with the beat breaker. I also like throwing it on vocals to quickly make vocal ch vocal chops. For instance, I'm gonna have to finesse this. Doing this all live. Don't come for me. Oh, so this is how it sounds with nothing on it. Dine with me. I can be a modern Aphrodite. All right, let's see. Dine with me. I can be a modern Aphrodite. I kiss better when you find me. I can be modern. It kind of sounds really cool. And then there's also other things you can do. Like let's do melody pitches. Dine with me. I can be modern. I will kiss you better when you dine with me. I can be modern. I will kiss you better when you dine with me. I'll be a modern. I can mighty. I'll kiss you better. Let's try one more. Stutter. 
Obviously, it needs a lot of finessing, but you could see the vibe. I can use this to get inspired to do vocal chops or a breakdown session or add some sort of organic melodies using my vocals and the beat breaker. So I love beat breaker. I have so much fun with that one. Another one of my favorite Logic plugins, of course, is the sampler. Let's say I go over here to new software, instrument track, type in sampler. And now I can shift these off if I want to. And I do for now. And then I want to do mapping and zone. And now I can pull in a clip of my audio, so of my vocal. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's take that. I can just drag this in here, spread this out. And now I can play it on my MIDI keyboard. You can see me playing it here. And I can just be like, I can shorten this, so let's see. And then if you click this button, it will actually follow tempo, so it won't speed up when you go higher or slow down when you go lower. And the cool thing about using the sampler is you can actually layer sound. So let's say I find like a vinyl. So I just put that under here and we're gonna do the same thing. Make it all the way. So let's say in my song here, I can try a little breakdown. Let's see how this will sound. Here's what it sounds like if I'm playing it. really cool way to create your own instrument using your voice and layering with the stock logic sampler those are some of my favorite plugins and sounds that you can use within logic pro do not sleep on these i hope this inspired you to create more with some of these stock logic sounds if you want some more quick logic pro tips i have my logic pro crash course it comes with an ebook and video guide so your ebook can be used on your ipad or right on your computer screen and if you click on the table of contents it will take you right to the page and if you click on the title of each chapter it will actually open up to a video guide demonstrating each of these features in case it doesn't make sense in the book or you want a video demonstration Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what kind of video you want me to make next and I'll see you next week.